This is the show. It started on March 4th. It's going to run until April 28th. And it looks interesting. I am now here at the opening reception. Why don't we go upstairs and see what it's all about. Let's check that out right now. I've been walking around and I've had this incredible vibe of what I've been seeing. This is a great, great show. I've never really seen anything like this. I want you to introduce everybody. Tell me your name and where, where are we? My name is Ruth Bauer Neustadter and we are at the Pine Gallery at the Fairlawn Library. And I'm having a solo show which runs from March 4th, which happens to be my birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. And it ends uh, April 28th. Today is the 11th of March, and we're having my opening. I'm considering having another opening. I think you should have something near the end of the run. Near so the end of the so run. I'm going to speak to the library about that because uh, we'll I think... Do that. I think uh, it's worth it. One of the things I'm finding most interesting is the technique and the material. Now, as I've been looking around, I love, first of all, the 3D effect, the way it just sort of comes out at you. Yes. The mixes of medium from all kinds of things, I'm going to say. Found objects, yes. How did you get into that? Oh, Why my goodness. What was the catalyst for that? Oh, well, you know, my original art form was dance. 
And so I just, you know, the whole movement of the body and uh, uh, projecting outwards. When I started to become a visual artist, actually I started off as a weaver, as a sculptural weaver, a three-dimensional weaver. And then I started to paint. And it, I wanted to create paintings that had the feeling of movement, uh, which which um, definitely connected to I, my I dance. Am, I, am f I am finding that the work that I'm seeing, and by the way, uh, you'll see a couple of close-ups in a while, and we'll be talking about one in particular, but it does seem to sort of like come right off the page, right off the canvas, shall we say. Well, whatever yes. the medium is. For example, the one I'm looking at right here, this is incredibly interesting. Tell me about it, move in a little bit closer, and, and give me some feedback on what I'm looking at here. What some of the objects are? Or the, well, the, the, I'll tell you, when I get up in the morning, I go for a walk. And what I do is I go uh, along the street and usually to the railroad tracks, and I find all kinds find of stuff. fabulous stuff. And I also go to construction sites. So here you have an old saw. Here are pieces of rusty metal, which is used in construction. Uh, these are, you know, wonderful old pieces that were probably used um, in some way. I pick things up off the street. Uh, this is also cardboard, which I, I'm, re I, you know, I'm, a, I, re I believe in recycling. Actually, when I look, when I look at this, I get a feeling of two different vibes, if you might suggest something simple and something a little bit well, more complex. Is that sort of what's happening that's here? That's exactly my n whole new body of work is our constructions, which uh, deal with the idea of complexity as opposed to simplicity. Did you just wake up one day and say you're going to do this? I dream about these things. You do? I sure do. I. That's where my creativity comes. I will wake up usually at 5 o'clock in the morning, if not earlier, okay. and I will. And you get um, a, uh, I sit there and I design paintings, I come up with ideas. Let me ask you this, how do you feel with people looking at your work? When people what? When people see your work, how does that make you feel, like today? Oh, I'm thrilled. I love, I usually get very good feedback, so I'm fortunate in that respect. Uh, not everybody, my work is not at all traditional. No, it's different from the norm, which I love, and that's the way art should be, actually. Yes, yes, it's definitely, um, although I have to say, I do do traditional work. I do more, none of the pieces in this show are figurative. Okay, and it's probably, but I do all have, one of a kind as well, right? And they're all they one of a be, kind, yeah. absolutely, they're one of a kind. But I do do more traditional work. I do figurative work, I do portraits for people, and you know, so okay. I do have that. But this is the kind of work that really is exciting to me, the idea that I can... Rauschenberg, Robert Rauschenberg was one yeah. of the people in my life who inspired me so deeply. And I think if Robert Rauschenberg saw this, he Well, would here's feel the thing. I could do a half hour with you, but I don't have a half hour worth of time. <laughs> okay. okay. And I could do that easily. The show's running okay. again. Tell everybody, where's the show? How long again? Until the April? The show ends in April, on April okay. 28th. If there's anybody who okay. would like to meet me waiting. here and discuss my work, you have to email me. Yes, and how is it? Tell us And that. my email are my initials, rbnartist at yahoo.com. That's R B N artist at yahoo.com. So Which please a, contact me. It's a pleasure meeting you. you. You're incredibly talented and very unique. Go enjoy your opening reception. I'll chat Thank with you, you soon. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Wayne. All right, folks, you have to stop by here because it's just obviously oh, incredible. Personally. And look for me. I'll be coming around your neck of the woods real soon. Until we meet again, my name is Wayne Robbins. I'll see you next time inside Fairlawn.